If Douglas beats Holyfield, it looks as though you've got a rematch with Buster. Some people think you'll stiff Alex Stewart and not fight him in December. No, he, he shouldn't believe that at all, because you know why? Because after, cause after I, I've kicked Stewart ass and give him a slow beating, nearly death, I'm going to take whoever the win after that, the Holyfield Douglas fight, and then regain my title. And hopefully I can fight Ray the Ruddick or this other guy, George Foreman, before he die of, you know what I mean, rigor mortis. Speaking of history, you said one time that one of the things you've learned is that to succeed greatly, you have to be willing to fail greatly. Oh, 100 percent. No one failed more than I did. I deserved all the credit I received. Nobody's seen more than I've seen. None of these fighters, none of these athletes. I'm the king of the barbarians. There's no one that could, this, that could surpass me in the pain that I've endured. When you're training or when you're you know, laying in bed and you're envisioning this fight, how do you see this fight turning out? Champion of the world, Mike Tyson. Then, his, then I'll illustrate my reign with bloodshed and pain. Then everybody will fear me. That trembling. And bones. Uh, Mike, you're with us. You had some fun today. Were you sorry? Yeah, oh, you yeah, actually oh, apologized? Oh, yeah. I'm very sorry. Well, <laughs> I understand what sorry. you're saying. What about Ruddick? Do you have a, is there a personal dislike for him? Tell me about How do you feel about him personally? That's why he's one of, I mean, I take my personal opinion. I think he's a big phony. You know what I mean? He's a good fighter. I respect him as a fighter, but that's about it. You know, he's a big phony because Friday night I'm going to put a hole in him. You know what I mean? See what, what he's really made out of. You feel you really have to go out and savage this guy? Absolutely. Why? Because I just want to, I want to have a good display, and I want to just make, you know what I mean, an example. I mean, I just, I just want their soul, you know what I mean? I just want to take his soul. Just rip his heart off, huh? Exactly. How did you feel about the guys you were in the ring with? Um, I wanted to kill them. <laughs> well, I can tell! <laughs> why, why did, uh, I'm laughing nervously. Um, why? You really felt that way. You wanted yeah. And will you take uh, something away from what Rockman did in the first fight and kind of use that? I'll use take it? his life. That's what I do. Rockman, Rockman, and those guys, didn't have, their eyes haven't seen what I've seen. I'm ordained for this. I've been to Valhalla. I've seen the most vicious and most cruelest and coldest white people in the world. They accept me. He can't stop me. Him. You take into the ring a lot of rage. Does that work for you, or does it work against you at times? You know, who cares? We're in a fight anyway. What, what, the, what, what does it matter? Well, for example, rage against uh, Evander Holyfield worked against you. Well, f it. It's a fight, so whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. Then we could. You got it. Have a nice fight, Mike. F off. When will we know that the real Mike Tyson is back in the ring? Well, when you see me take care of this guy, what's his name again? On December 8th, Mr. Stewart? Then you find out. Oh, he's been talking a lot. He's been talking a lot. He's been talking a lot. He's going to be a slow, slow night for him. But saying that it gets you orgasmic. That's a strange thing to say. Well, that's just what I want. I wanted to find out because you're really bright, and I thought you would figure it. No, I'm being very serious. <clears throat> no, I know. I I, I know you're being serious. No, 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 no. Get off me. Get off my hand. I ain't doing. You scumbag. Get you. What goes on in your mind? I was telling you, when I'm at ringside, my heart's pounding. I envision what's going to happen. Is Tyson going to throw his jab? Is Ruddick going to do this? The kind. What about you when you're in there? I just, I, just, I just want blood, I just, I'm just into it, you know I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a very um, complex high to explain because, you know, I, I just want this guy bad, I just want him. <laughs> they say, hey, Mike, how you doing? You look in great shape, you look good, man. Boy, you would, man, please, man, have the, get in my face and say, Mike, I think you're an individual. They can't say I'm a bum, I'm not a good fighter, because, you know what I mean, three and a half years and 11 defenses proved it. And tactically, how will you win this fight? Victoria, destructively. Mike Tyson fashion. Well, I just want to let know I'm from Brownsville, Brooklyn. I'm not afraid of nobody. In the ring or out of ring, they got a gun or a knife, and I'll show him that too. Mike, you're jumping around. You seem to be a little anxious. I'm just ready to get it on and crush this guy's skull. And show who the real world champion is, the best fighter in the era. Oh, anybody in here can't f with this man, man.
man. is the ultimate, man. F*** you, you hoe. Come and say in my face, you know, in front of everybody. You bitch. Come on, you bitch. You're scared, coward. You got man enough to f*** with me. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. Look at you scared now, you hoe. Scared like a little white f***. Scared of the real man. I'll f*** you till you love me, f***. And Holyfield, he lucky I didn't bite his throat off. He knew he was wrong. He shouldn't have did what he did. He violated me, and in turn, I violated him. 92. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Please. Oh, these you know you're a real stuff. prick, though, right? What? What's the matter? You're a real prick. You've hit me with all these disgusting pictures. Oh, no, but uh, if you don't want to comment, I don't. No, I, I mean, will comment, to... but you're a prick. No, no, what? no I didn't. I'm just trying to... We're, we're trying to... If you don't want to comment on it, you no, don't I have to. No, I am going to comment on him, but you're a prick. I'm just letting you know. Continue. I, yeah. I'm just... I just... We're, we're coming back here. You're I... unsensitive. You have no sensitivity to anything. I'm not... It doesn't affect me. But I mean, you have no sensitivity. You don't know how does affect me. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. It's just, it's just that your life is at the point I was making, Mike, and I'm going to ask you about it. All right, and I give you my opinion, what I think about you. All right, well, your, your life has been shown on the cover of a magazine. That's something yeah, okay, that Okay, go people... ahead. Give me the okay. next one. You're going to get Kevin killed. You better stop. You better stop. Just go sit down. Just go sit down and say have a good fight. Listen, I've been working with Kevin for two and a half years. I've never seen him prepare himself like I'm he has. I'm him like a fish. <laughs> Sit down. This is my best thinking at the time. Get my gun, automatic, just like this, and you just go crazy. Who are you gonna, who are you gonna hurt? Regardless, that's just my first thought. But when I went to the hospital, the people that were there, was, they're up there because their kids are dead too, mm -hmm. or, or about to die. Mm -hmm. So who the hell am I? Their kids are dying too. I don't know. No. It's um, something happened that day. What happened that day? But whatever happened that day, was there a new Mike Tyson that came the next day? Um, no, I did some cocaine for a week. I had to get high. I had to back then. I had to get high. Um, I couldn't handle it at all. You have to go. No, you understand, right? Thank you.